Hey everyone, Diamond Lewis. I'm in Ashland, Kentucky. I am uh, thankful to be part of this uh, Canopy 143. I am blessed to be uh, the owner of Sideburn Stadium Haircuts and the Ashland Outlet. I am blessed to uh, be part of those because my team allows me to be out there doing things like this, being part of Canopy 143 and helping others have a better tomorrow. Organizations like Build Ashland, organizations like Better Boyd, things like all these churches around here, Wildwood, Grace Culture, uh, we're all trying to do one thing, and that's help people have a better tomorrow. And we all got the same basic foundation in my mind. Uh, here at Canopy 143, we call it the Big Three. And to better explain them, I want you to go ahead and get that USB cord out that I put underneath your desk. Can't find it? It's because I'm kidding. But wouldn't it be cool if I could connect this to my forehead, connect this to your forehead, and just be like, ah, download it all, and be like, oh, that's it. There it is. But that's not how it works yet. Uh, right now, you got to live. You've got to learn, and you have to, uh, you got to listen. So I'm going to share some stuff with you the old-fashioned way, and that's through uh, verbal communication here. The big three. First one is uh, treat others right. And guys, I got this uh, lesson uh, taught to me real early back in eighth grade, basically where some of you are at right now. Eighth grade, I moved off to Dover, Delaware from uh, Fairview High School. I had 49 kids in my class. I moved off to 650 kids in my class, guys. And that's like moving off to a college campus, okay? And I was scared to death. I was short, I was chubby, I had white hair, more of it. It was uh, in a beautiful mullet, uh, permed mullet. It was great, I looked good. So I thought, until I got to Delaware with all of that and my hillbilly accent, and I got made fun of. And it was a rough year. But luckily I found some people living by this rule, you know, treat others right, and they were nice to me, they were kind to me, they made me their friend, gave me a chance to be their friend. And my life was different from there on. Uh, and I've taken that lesson, and I've used it and, and lived by it for the rest of my life, which was, you know, be kind. Uh, look up Chick-fil-A's video uh, on Google or YouTube, Google Chick-fil-A hiring video. And it's gonna talk a little bit about uh, how we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And it'll help you understand that you need to, to, to just to give people a chance and to give, be patient with people. Uh, number two, make smart decisions. Now this, guys, this is where you're at a kind of a disadvantage right now. You know, see, you got that thing on your, your phone, that, that app. Uh, you can make decisions, you can text in a blink. And you can send out stuff that can hurt people really, really quickly. So I, I beg you, slow down, think about those texts, and think about those posts, and think about uh, how it can really affect somebody, even though you think it's funny. Uh, think about somebody that, uh, that, that just that might, might hurt. Uh, and don't do it. Change a little bit, slow down, because those things will last forever. Uh, that's one way I think you can make a smart decision is by slowing down and thinking about what you're texting and posting and liking and sharing because it can, it can be really, really bad. Maximize your potential, number three. This is easy. Find a person doing number one and find a person doing number two. Surround yourself with those people and keep surrounding yourself with those people. And it's kind of like this. If you're always around people that are negative, people that are always sad, uh, don't we start to feel negative and sad? I mean, that's how it is. Uh, if you're always listening to sad music or always listening to angry music, don't we get sad and mad? We do. It's how we're wired. So surround yourself with people that are being positive, that are working for a better tomorrow, that are after helping other people have a better tomorrow, helping those that don't, uh, that are that are kind of you know, in a in a rough patch. Surround yourself with those people helping others, and guys, you'll have a better tomorrow. Will life be easy because of these three foundations? No, but it will be a little better, uh, a little easier to recover when you hit a rough patch. So that's the big three, guys. Uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. See you later.